guys, so this is going to be the start of our labor and delivery vlog. So I am going to be induced in the morning. We have to be there at 5 a.m. So yeah, it's going to be a really long day, but we are super excited. So yeah, I'm almost 40 weeks pregnant and baby boy is still baking. I think he's going to be pretty big. I'm thinking he's gonna weigh, not pretty big, but bigger than Uriah. So I think he's gonna be seven pounds and one ounce. And then Colton, what do you think he's gonna weigh? Seven pounds, three ounces. Seven pounds, three ounces. So yeah, we'll see. Um, we just ordered some food from Zaxby's. Um, so yeah, we got a salad, chicken fingers, all of that. And then over here, I just have the nurse's baskets. So I meant to do a whole video on these, but I really just did not have the time. So how I'm gonna do this is these two baskets are going to be for the break room. So I just have all kinds of goodies in here. Everything is pre-packaged. I didn't wanna do fruit or anything, just stuff that I knew would last and that the nurses can throw in their pockets or whatever. So um, yeah, I have some of the Starbucks drinks. Then we have some um, peanuts, some Airhead Bites, Oreo cookies, granola bars, Nutri-Grain bars, Chex Mix. I have these little Mentos almonds just a lot of different things liquid ivs so i'm gonna put two baskets in the break room for all the nurses and then i have these two baskets that are going to be for the actual nurses that help us during labor and delivery so the two nurses that actually help me push the baby out and i still need to set these up but i have some of the same stuff in here i have some of these Icebreaker ice cubes, almonds, Nutri-Grain. We have Powerade, Body Armor, the Crawlers. I got a $50 gift card for each one of them. Um, we have chocolate covered pretzels. I also, let's see, I've got these gummy worms. Also, I put some body care items in there. Um, so we have this lotion and also, let's see, Vaseline lip balm. So yeah, I stuck to blue just because we are having a boy. So I'm going to go ahead and set these baskets up and get them all cute. And then I need to make the thank you cards to go on them. with everything in them and then here are the individual nurse baskets so yeah I think they turned out really nice I hope that they like them um, I'm not sure how we're gonna get these up to the um, room but we'll figure it out so yeah I'm just gonna add some thank you cards and that'll be it so we just got Uriah ready for bed are you excited to see baby Ezra yes so we're going to read his book. Um, it's all about Uriah becoming a big, big brother. Boy. A big brother. Big boy. So, yeah. The next time Mommy and Daddy come home, we'll have baby Ezra. How exciting is that? Good. Uriah, Mommy and Daddy know that you will be the most wonderful big brother, giving you a lifetime of magical adventures together. This book is just the beginning. So we're here 
in the hospital room um, when we got here the nurse did not waste any time she went ahead and got me prepped she put in my IV we have a baby boy on a monitor and she went ahead and started the Pitocin so I was having some contractions on my own because whenever she put me on the monitor we could see them so yeah I had already started um, contracting which I had figured because I kept getting like a tightening feeling kind of in my lower stomach I think I might be having one right now so yeah she went ahead and started the Pitocin um, I didn't have to do the Cytotec this time with Uriah um, I had to do that but I guess because I was a little bit further along with the um, dilation that they just went ahead and started on the Pitocin so yeah we are prepped and ready to get this show on the road I want to show you guys the room. I might get Colton to give y'all a tour, but the rooms here are always really nice and big and spacious. So Colton, how are you feeling? Good, feeling good. How about you? Good. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Good. <laughs> good. Alright guys, so they came in just a few minutes ago and broke my water and the contractions are getting a little bit more intense. Here's the monitor for you guys and it's reading Ezra's heartbeat and the contractions and I believe her blood pressure as well. see the number raise like whenever I have a contraction it used to just be a chart like I think last time it was just a graph it's a I graph remember seeing the numbers the though. numbers on the side but the graph is no oh, maybe written. it was I don't remember you'll be out you'll be able to see it when you yeah. review um, so yeah they're coming about seems like they're coming about every four minutes maybe maybe so I don't know yeah Getting steps closer, we've gotten our epidural. We 
got them situated, making moves, getting ready. I think that Pedrillo is kicked in. Are you with us? Can you smile? <laughs> yeah, so the contractions got pretty intense quickly. Um, so I requested the epidural. And this time around, the epidural was pretty bad. It was um, very lengthy and intense, especially with the contractions going in and out. Yeah, he really wanted to make sure that he got it in the exact spot he needed to be in. Yeah. But it's fully working. Yeah, so it took him a while to, you know, get it in there, so. It kicked in pretty quick, though. Mm -hmm. Usually take It usually take a while for epidural. So that was pretty, that was kind of difficult, yeah. but I'm definitely numb now, so it's definitely doing its job. Okay. So now on to the next steps. Mm -hmm. So everything seems to be progressing pretty quickly. Um, I think I'm about eight centimeters. 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 <laughs> Wait, are you from Alabama? I think I'm about eight centimeters dilated, and hopefully we'll be pushing soon. They started getting everything ready, so it won't be much longer. Right here. Okay. Let's go. this time everything went by so fast so yeah it's much later in the day um so he was delivered at 11 27 right coach yeah 11 27 um and this time it was different because i guess their rules and everything changed they wouldn't actually let you record the labor and delivery like you could do the labor but not the actual delivery part um, but like once he was delivered, we could record. So I don't know. It was a little bit different. So we didn't get too much footage. But they had more nurses in here this time. Yeah, they which was crew. crazy. Exactly. We had way more nurses, which was just strange because of everything going on. Um, so yeah, I don't know what was up with that, but everything just Hello. went really quick. But yeah, Ezra is doing really good. I'm doing good. Um, I've gotten up, I've walked, all of that. I did have some bleeding going on earlier, but we got all of that figured out. So yeah, I feel really good. I know the last time with Uriah, like getting up and walking was so painful, but this time it was really easy. So yeah, I feel really great. And yeah, I'm just so in love. He is perfect and I can't wait for Uriah to meet him. 